Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group B Round 3 match between Frankie129 and his Undead up against Viking Cop and his Lizardmen. Viking Cop won the toss, chose to kick um, because he needs a win, I think. Um, if you look at this, you can see that Frankie has already definitely qualified for the round of 32. Um, Ratamo is obviously favoured to join him there. But Viking Cop and Arzawain have a chance if they win the last games. So Viking Cop would also, however, need to score at least two touchdowns, realistically. Yes. Yes. Realistically, Viking Cop needs to score two touchdowns and win. And then hope for a nil-nil draw between Ratnamo and Arzawain. Or he could win 1-0 and hope for a nil-nil draw and then get to a playoff. But basically, Viking Cop has to win to have a tiny chance and has to score a few touchdowns, preferably. Um, if Frankie loses, then there's a chance he doesn't get top of the division. So with a draw or a win, he'll definitely be top of the group. Um, so yeah, all to play for. And, um, right, so here, yeah, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, before before we kick off, I can actually tell you the background of them. Uh, Frankie one two nine is Spanish, qualified through the NBB, and Viking Cop is also Spanish and qualified through the Rebel qualifier. Nice. Brilliant coaching for one of them. Looking at the teams, we've got, oh, this is, right, I'm going to put the skill rings on. Got position rings. Oh, instant removal. That holds it. Makes sense. Okay, we don't need positions for the uh, lizards on. And there's a stun. So it is four ghouls. Four ghouls. Four skills on the ghouls, three block of wrestle. A tackle and two guards. No, it's not. There's not a block on this ghoul. I was thinking that's seven skills. It's a block on the Saurus. He's got three skills on the ghouls. That caught me out. Three skills on the ghouls. One skill on the blitzer and two guards. The lizards are six block, classic. With two rerolls, he got the ex he got the extra coaching, so he's got two rerolls in an apple and reserve. Hasn't gone with the chameleon skink. Yeah, not a, he's not a, uh, a lizard man master. That if you if you <laughs> that is an in joke based upon um, some people who. You know, in the um, Euro Bowl Discord, who maybe aren't the most knowledgeable people on earth, <laughs> shall we say? <laughs> Though, funnily enough, Spartacus has done great with only three blood. To be fair, I was very surprised. People have said, "Has there been any uh, anyone who surprised you?" and I would say Spartacus has been the most impressive one, but I still don't agree with his roster, but you know, he's he certainly played it well. Dimmy, I haven't mentioned that in weeks. <laughs> it's just you mentioning it, Dimmy. <laughs> Stop. Stop, Dimmy. I like the tiger stripes on these guys. <laughs> you just... I'm not going to say it. I haven't said it for weeks, Dimmy. It's just you. Oh, Crocs go stupid. 
The, the bad thing about this is, I guess, you, you, your mummies, like, can't three dice, right? But, like, they have to two dice. So it's a, I guess it can be a bit dodgy. Like, you've got to position well so that if you want a nine, you might be able to take it. But realistically, you can't. You can't afford to take one in nines because you have to. You have to smash the swords. Like you just have to. You absolutely have to smash with them every single turn. Like they have to hurt Saurus if you're going to win the game realistically. Sure, what he's doing here. <laughs> I mean, he gets an extra assist there, but like, is it worth your ghoul getting smashed by a Croxagol? I think the answer is no. Also, if he piled this, ah, well, no, okay, it was a blitz. He was a bit susceptible to things happening. Yeah, that seems a bit crazy to um, base the crocs like that. One moved. That's the danger of just basing a random skink. Tackle is marked out of the game now by Saurus. Crocs rolls a pow and gets in on the other ghoul as well. Removal. Oh dear. Rerolls the uphill. Yeah, this is. <laughs> and doesn't even beat him off, keeps him in contact, so. Mummies can both smash. Oh, that's a blitz. Don't say it's over. Oh, he goes for the he goes for the little guys. <laughs> no, no, Lizards is not the team to have face face. But it is the team to smash with your mummies every single time. But yeah, that was really wild to get an extra assist. <laughs> face for the ghoul to get an extra assist. just tried to punch the white with a skink and then punch the mummy. Doesn't punch with a crocs. Opens the turn with a one dice blitz. It's not what I would have done, but... I didn't get anything with mummy hits. Yeah, you've got, you got a mummy hit. You've just got to mummy hit and hope for the best. Be Ratnamore. I mean, at the end of the day, there are there are um, ultimately, you know, it's only three games, right? So, a bit of luck and anything can happen. And yep, free serve. Gosh, Kaz. <laughs> Start absolutely smashed to bits. 
Miss Frankie. Too timid this though, isn't it? Bringing back this 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 safety. Like, what's your safety against? <laughs> right? What what is he a safety against? You're absolutely smashing him. So keep on mashing in, right? You've got to use him more aggressively. You've got to push on him more. You need you need to get the turnover score here, right? You need uh, you need two touchdowns in this game so you have to turn him it's not enough to stop the score this half you have to turn him over you have to score two two touchdowns so you have to um you have to score this half yeah cover against the phone head much better yeah can actually uh Blitz this guy and just gone through there. But yeah, I guess now that's that's gone stupid. Get his blitz on the skink. <laughs> well, Dimmy, not everyone can be as completely awesome as you. Well, to be, I mean, to be fair, he did actually get to, get to react with me. But, but of course, if he was up here, this would have been hard to get through that way. So. You know. Six and two threes, isn't it? It's turn six. I want to see this guy coming around to like here or something. It's just just needs a little bit more aggression. Oh my god, he does a 1D. And Kaz's him. <laughs> so you can then move him up and move him back. Oh wow. Another 1D. Pow. I mean, you can kill it. killing every opposing player isn't going to get you a touchdown. That's the thing. And he is somehow put an extra player there instead of here. If that had been a pow, he could have come through and, like, potato. Scoring or push. Oh. Fails, falls. Turn seven. The first thing you have to do is scoring threat. Perfect. In the actual square. It's broken the replay thing. Right, there we go. So I'm happy that that's the exact right thing to do, is just get this guy in. So he's eight away. There's a scoring threat. Just wait for the undead to fill on in now. Yep. So very, very good. <laughs> I might not be recovering from. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's fair enough. Not cock sitting right. One in twenty-seven. But there we go. He gets a touchdown. Now, just needs to go for the 2-0 and put himself in with a shot. Oh, in turn 7. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, in turn 7. So it's still got 11, but he's down 2 ghouls. So that's a huge, a huge bonus for Viking Cop.
I mean, he could even score quickly and try and go for 3-0, right? Oh, maybe not now. He's getting based by zombies. Frankie is definitely through, yes. He hasn't necessarily topped the group, but he's definitely qualified. Viking Cup needs to win to have a chance of qualifying. Realistically, he needs two or more touchdowns. Oh. I get why he wants to have a Saurus back, but I blitz this guy first, right? Oh, it doesn't blitz the ghoul. He rolled double skulls. Oh, it's because he wants to get the thing off the tackle. He wants to get the tackle off him. Okay. Okay, I guess if you if you if you this makes sense if you're blitzing the tackle. I'd have just blitzed the ghoul and like, you know, kept him holding the sideline. And then uh punched the I, w I would have kept this guy up so I could punch the mummy, right? I want to punch the mummy. And I would have not followed there and punched the mummy. I would have tried to punch both mummies. <laughs> you. <laughs> you love it to me. That's a big pal. Touchdown, yeah. Yeah, I would, I would have hit both mummies here. The reason being, if you don't, <laughs> they'll hit you. <laughs> and knock out a Saurus. <laughs> I made some screenshots today, you know, Dimmy. There was one of you saying, knobs aren't very good. And also, a screenshot that you yourself took of Nobs losing four games on Fumble at the same time. <laughs> Nobs okay? Just, you know, I just don't like having players that are punching bags the mummies, right? When he had a chance to get the initiative and knock down the mummies. And, like, you know, to be fair, he, he's got an extra source in the backfield, right? Which is good. It's not like it was just bad that he did that, but... I feel like the backfield will all sort itself out eventually. So just make sure you get on top of the mummies. And keep on top of them. Keep pounding them all game, you know? You can't if you, if you let if you let go of them they're gonna start smashing you. And I think that's how you lose, right? That's how you lose. The the mummies just remove Saurus. And that's basically how how you lose this game. Yeah, there was surf bait, didn't take it. Hasn't really got anyone near him to, to do the surf, to be fair. Oh, there we go. So the homies have KO'd one and Kaz the other. I mean, I guess he can't lose, actually, by Incop, right? He's won the lot, but... That is how... In essence, the undead win this matchup is by the mummies smashing the Saurus. Having a little tackle white running around trying to punch skins isn't going to cut it. It's the mummies smashing every single turn.
Yeah, I was thinking, like, on the one hand, you want to dodge this skink away, but on the other hand, if you do, he's going to open your cage up with a mummy blitz. It's a pal. Just a stun. He's got to recover his tackle up. And ghouls, right? Ghouls are really good as well, to be fair. Oh, makes the four plus dodge off. And this is the problem now, because he's down two Saurus, he like doesn't have the pitch control anymore, does he? So I, I would have taken the risk of, of you know being a little bit dodgy. A few turns on the uh, reception. Oh, well, there's a Kaz. Yeah, sideline cage is actually pretty strong, isn't it? Okay, not there though. Not there. Oh, not not like this. No, no, he, he just run up and sideline cage there, right? Sideline cage up there and then score next turn. And then go for three, then go for three touchdowns. You can actually go for the third touchdown here. Like, that was actually good, right? Like, although normally going there and scoring early would be bad, because it gives your opponent, like, a tiny chance of coming back from 2-0. Here it's better, because it gives you a tiny chance of getting a third touchdown for your tiebreakers. One D pow, outrageous. <laughs> one D knocked down there. Uh, one D skull, sorry. And so now, even if the this is do something, the tackle is back, isn't he? Yeah, now you can't just run it in, exactly, yeah, now you're, you're in a bit of a pickle. I mean, he's making a million knockouts, I guess he can run back. Yeah, blitz, blitz the, uh, blitz the white and come back with a ball. But, um... So, like, this would be fine in a normal game. This would be fine in a normal game, really. But the fact that he wants the touchdowns for tiebreakers, I really like the forward, the forward sideline cage and then scoring on turn 13. And then maybe get, maybe even getting a third look how many injuries he's done, right? If these KOs stay out. If he gets his KOs back and these KOs stay out, he can get a third. Or a turd if you're Irish. Surfosaurus. No, I've got no idea what it is, Jimmy. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, he just needed the power, didn't he? If he was going to move up with the ball, he could have made this block first, then moved up with the ball. Because now he's going to dodge, and he's failed and KO'd himself. Oh my goodness, this could be a draw now. Turn 14 for Frankie Boy. He hasn't got too many men of his own mind, like he's lost so much himself. Does a 1D, gets the pow. Yeah, like normally scoring early bad, 
But in this kind of format, where the touchdown tie, like the tiebreaker, is touchdown scored and not difference, primary, the primary tiebreaker is touchdown scored, then it absolutely makes sense to bang it in early like that. Okay, uphills him and gets a push. Oh wow, Saurus dodge. Flip me. Flip me. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Blitzes him and blocks him. And two. And now he can potato with the rookie. Rookie. The rookie goo. Mummy to stop the Saurus dodge. Crocs dodge. Push him, didn't push him away. Didn't fo- He ran out of time. He must have run out of time, right? Time bank, he must have run out of time and didn't fall. Didn't have time to follow. Yeah, he should have both downed even, yeah. What will have happened is, if you pushed him back, one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush, yeah, so it should have just both down. So what what will have happened is he'll have run out of time and, uh and just pushed him, so now he's got a, now he's got a Croxagore Blitz! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Murder. Yeah, so it'll be in the time. Like, this is the thing, like, you know, you can just watch, you can watch this, like, you know, lifeless replay and uh, think, oh, I wouldn't have done that, but yeah, that's the thing, like, for them it's like a, an intense hour and a half match isn't it and they're out of time bank and then you know things happen one nil is not good for them I'll be honest one nil they need the other game to be a zero zero draw and there you go it is a one nil win for Viking Cop and I can show you what it looks like now. This is the updated table. So it does put Viking Cop into second for now. But he's only got two touchdowns for and two against. So if Ratamo draws nil-nil with Arzawain, then it'll be a playoff with Viking Cop. Whereas if Viking Cop had won this game 2-0 and Ratamo had drawn 1-1, one, one, which is much more likely, then Viking Cop would have qualified. And also, if Arzawain wins 1-0, which is possible, then Viking Cop would have qualified if he'd won this game 2-0. So Viking Cop had to go for the 2-0 this game. He had to sideline Cage down the side, you know, further into the half, get that 2-0 up, and then maybe even a 3-1, right? A 3-0, 2 or 3-0. He, he had to score touchdowns. And he didn't, so now he needs a nil-nil draw to have a chance at a play-off for the spot. If Arzawain wins, he will qualify, right? Because he'll have scored a touchdown to win. So if Arzawain, if Arzawain wins, he qualifies. If it's a draw, at least a 1-1 draw, Ratamo qualifies. And if, obviously if Ratamo wins, he qualifies. But... For the game, congratulations Viking Cop. Commiserations Frankie 129. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.